All right, what's up, y'all? I'm at the creek. I decided to come down here today, and I made it all the way down here and realized that I didn't even start recording. When 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 my plan was to record as I was coming down here, but you know, I was I was going on about something else at the time, so it slipped my mind. But yeah, I mean. Not really, not really much today. Not any valuables washed up today. So, guess we'll just walk or something, or I'll go and check the uh, the tunnel or whatever over there that that uh, that I've I've not been to in a long time. Cause usually I'll find valuables like washed up there. Like I found like I found a I found like a um would it be like a baseball softball or something? It said casino on it, so I'm and so I'm guessing it was it was a ball from a um. A casino game or something. It got washed up and yeah. I still, I still got to take y'all through that trail so y'all can see what's there because I still haven't, I still haven't made that video. Which I probably, I might make that video tomorrow or, or I might wait till it, or I might wait till the springtime when it warms up a little more and then come down here. But, okay, but guys, of course, of course, I'm gonna come down here in the summertime. And so y'all can see. How this place looks when it's a summer day. It's not so dull and quiet and cold. Oh yeah. What we got so far? Uh, we got Nerf bullets. So, kid probably lost their Nerf bullets out here and they got washed up. Nothing but trash. A giant log got washed up. Um. And yeah. don't mind the yelling. If you hear yelling, it's coming from the neighborhood up there where my ex lives. Stupid bitch. But yeah, and I, I, I've also made a couple of friends in that neighborhood. If you guys, if I, if I never told y'all guys that, told you guys that. Got a sewer. Uh, I, I don't know how they're, I don't know how they're supposed to open. Oh, I see. I was gonna say how they supposed to open this if they poured concrete on top of it and try to put concrete around the thing. This will be a nice watering hole in the summertime for frogs. Okay, well, that little path takes you up to the neighborhood, and that's where the that's where the source of all the screaming is. You can't really see nobody because of the trees. Yeah, yeah, I could probably hear the screaming. It's coming from up there. Okay. Let me turn the camera off. I mean, let me let me turn the camera away from them so they don't peep out and see me filming. Because then they're going to think that I'm filming them. And you know how they're going to go. They're going to try to come down here and fight me. And to beat their ass. And continue the video. I beat their ass on camera. But it, it's not going to come down to that. Because trust me. These motherfuckers don't want nothing. They don't want the smoke. It's too much for them to handle. But anyway. Yeah. My shoes are not that dirty, which is good. I'm trying to minimize, and as you guys know, I wear these shoes outside. These are still good shoes for public, you know, like, what I'm trying, okay, let me rewear that. What I'm saying is, these are not exactly play shoes, but I still wear them outside play shoes sometimes, which, I only wear them when I wear good outfits, but like, when I'm wearing like old clothes, I wear, I wear my old, old shoes, but yeah, so what I'm saying is that I'm trying to minimize the amount of money, because Normally, I'll go across the creek and step in the mud, but I'm trying to avoid all that. So, because I just cleaned these, which, you know, kind of kind of doesn't make sense for me to, well, I cleaned them yesterday, so. It makes sense, but it doesn't make sense to wear them right now, but. You know, I just don't want to wear a good outfit with raggedy ass shoes. Like, I want, I want the outfit to pop, you know. If you wear a good outfit, you, may, you might as well wear good shoes with it, but. Anyways, yeah. And as you guys know, this is a, this is also a dirt bike trail, so. And four wheelers, so dirt bike and four wheelers also come through here. There's another little path. I've not been across there. I just realized people can. Yeah. That right there, that's the um, that's the um. The parking lot I was talking about the one that, 
the one you come down that circles around and you go back up on the road that you came from, that's how it's come out. But yeah, it looks like nothing too much got washed up besides trash. And you know what? Ooh. Oh, whoa, guys. I slid right there. I slid right there. Thankfully, thankfully, good old um, sewer line was right here. It, I was able to grab onto this thing, keep myself from falling. So, thank you. Thank you for saving me. Hope I didn't, hope my hope the back of my shoe didn't get muddy. Probably the bottom of it did. The bottom of it got muddy, but that's okay. It's only, the bottom of your shoes is going to get dirty. Because they're, they're on the ground, which, which is basically the whole point. Yeah, yeah. Going to the. Oh, go. This. This is where I normally catch, the um. The salamanders and stuff. The look. The stuff. The, the I mean. Yeah, I remember the salamanders I had. This is where I would catch them at, right here. They'd be under rocks, but I, mean, I doubt there's any out right now. But you never know. It could be so. I might do a little bit of um, rock flipping and see if we can find anything. Tell me that is not a turtle. Tell me that is not a turtle. Y'all see that? Look where my fingers at. That looks like a turtle or a dead turtle. Holy shit. Tell me that is not a turtle. Should we, should, should, should we check, guys? We're going to check. Tell me that it's not a turtle. Holy shit. Okay, guys, it's not a turtle. I thought it was because... I thought that was a tail. I thought I low-key thought that was a turtle, bro. I, I was here to grab it and take it home and hold it. And hold it until the springtime. And then release it because it's cold. No, I, wanted to die. I thought that was a turtle, guys. Whew. I was here to say... We... I'll just say we already found our um and we already found a score. And we weren't and we and we technically weren't even looking at all yet. That's how I'll um flip a rock real quick and see if there's anything under here. No. It's been so long since I've did this. Rock flipping looking for Lizards, and salamanders. Flip another rock. <laughs> I mean, well, you gotta, um, it's not a lizard, but it's a, um, it's a centipede. There's a, there's a centipede on that one. Flip this rock. I'm gonna fix the camera. There we go. Nothing under there. We're probably not going to find too much since, it's, you know, it's cold. I mean, it's been a little warm lately, but not warm enough. But I'm, I'm sure it was, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's not warm enough for salamanders to be, so to be out. Not out just yet. Until the springtime, which is a few months. Nothing. Yeah, there's tons of trash in here, so you'll see that. Throw that over there for now. Yeah, there's. As you, can see, you guys will see, see see plenty of trash in here because most creeks like this that that um that run off a of, um storm neighborhoods and storm drains will typically have large amounts of trash and garbage because a lot because you know a lot of that trash doesn't make it into the trash can so it makes it here or it just ends up in someone's yard ah there's water going inside my shoe I feel it <laughs> under this rock yeah I don't think, really think there's anything right now anything special 
So yeah, they, I mean, I guess we can continue on going up the path because there's, there's, there's not really nothing. But but yes, guys, I, I will come down here in the spring or whenever the um um tell me just come back out and I will I will make videos of me catching them. I will do that because I know because I know and. This would be a good place to hunt for snakes at, under all these rocks. So I'll make sure to come down here and do it. Whoa, that was a loose rock. It smells like doo-doo. Ooh, it smells like, I, I smell shit. It smells like shit. It might be coming from that sewer. It, it smells like shit. And it it's not a very pleasant smell either. It, it smells like shit that has sat in water for days. Oh, good God. Yeah. I hate walking through this because it's like that water puddle almost never dries up. Like, it, even even on the hottest days that I've came down here, that water puddle would still be there. I mean, it wouldn't be this big, but it, but it would still be there. Or broken lighter. I still smell it. It's like the smell got stronger as I got down here. I wish you, I wish you guys could smell it through the video because... It stinks. Oh my god. Did something shit or did I? Come here, I ain't stepped in shit. Catch this mud. But it's like as I got down here, the smell of shit just got stronger and stronger and stronger. Like, what the hell? Ouch. Oh, there's thorns. I should have walked on that side. Walked on that side. Walking on this side. Guys, I almost walked into that big ass thorn right there. Had to move. I think there's water flowing. Yeah, there's a little bit of water flowing. Yeah, we got a little, we got a little water flow. That rock wasn't there last time when I came. So it must have got washed by the um heavy rain we had a few days ago. This is where that come from comes from. Also I, I just remembered. I was supposed to show y'all guys. That new culvert that I found way on, way on, um, way on, way on the other side of the second creek that I filmed before my video. I, I, I'll, I'll probably just drop that tomorrow instead, instead of today. I'll probably, I'll probably just have that video tomorrow. But yeah, that's where that water comes from. It comes from up through there somewhere. This is where it ends up at. And if you, if you guys are wondering how this culvert got like this, it's because last year, last year, in the wintertime, just like this, we had a huge rainstorm that that flooded both this neighborhood and my neighborhood. And the water and the creek, the creek that I just showed y'all, that thing where I was standing at was completely underwater. And it washed out this entire area right here, causing this culvert to collapse. That one managed to stay in the ground. And that's how that tree got like that, because that tree was attached. That dead piece of tree was attached to that part. You see that part's suspended. That part is falling over because it got washed out.
But yeah, that's what happened. And I actually came down here, but I, I came down here, but I didn't have a tablet at the time. So I didn't, so I didn't film. I don't think, I don't think I had a phone at the time either. So yeah, that, that that's what happens, and it's still failing. See, the dirt is still crumbling, just like at the culvert that I showed y'all in the woods of my neighborhood. The little black plastic one that I showed y'all, it's failing too because of that, for that, that, that same reason. The rocks got the rocks got pushed over by the big storm, and now it's just failing because there's there's nothing being done to it. If the DLT or whatever watches my YouTube videos, then they should just use that video to find out where I live because I can't call them or contact them because my phone is not on yet. Like, I'm put, I plan on getting my phone turned on pretty soon, but now is not a convenient time to do that just yet because I still got other things to handle money wise. Like, I still got, I'm still, you know, dealing with bills and stuff so I get, get get those out the way and then when I'm able to get phone service I would do that but until then I, ooh. okay I, I think I'm gonna go out here because this this smell is getting putrid it, it must be something in that water it's because it seems like it seems like as I got closer to this water smell you know no you know what this smells like this smells like sewage this water smells like sewage, and it possibly could be from that. So there, there's a, there, there's a sewer right there, and there, and the, there's a sewer all the way up there, but you probably can't can't see it. But yeah, I think that's what it is. It's that water. That water smells, and they kind of have the color of sewage, cause you, cause, cause y'all know how sewage water has that like that. Like that brightish, little rainbowish color to it. From all the amount of toilet paper and shit stuff that gets put in the sewer, that's that's what that water looks like. So I think that's, I think that's um, sewage water. It's probably leaking from under the ground. I don't know if y'all can see it, but we got a little culvert. I don't know if y'all can see it. Okay, y'all might can see it, but if I zoom in, we got a little culvert up in there. Y'all see it? Another little culvert. That dumps off from the storm drains up there. And it, 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 it leads into this little path and dumps off into the creek. Yeah. One more little look because I'm about to um about to go ahead and head out. I can't take the smell anymore. The smell is putrid. It's making me want to vomit. And I literally just ate a hot pocket before I came down here. So I'm going to vomit up my hot pocket if I don't leave. So... Let's go ahead and get home. My fingers are starting to get cold from touching that stick. But yeah. Just wanted to go ahead and give you guys this little video now. Cause I was supposed to do it. I was going to do it yesterday. But I didn't. So I figured I'd do it today. Since it's really not even that cold today. I mean it's starting to get cold now. but cause it's, cause it's starting to get cold now because the sun's all the way over there. But, but when the sun was up. Like way earlier, it was actually pretty warm. I think, I I think the temperature was like in the mid 60s. And plus, you, oh my God, I'm stuttering. And plus, as you guys know, <laughs> okay, then that. They were just talking about that on the news. Oh, the camera was still, camera was still zoomed in. Yeah, I just heard about that. That people. People throwing out their masks and it's contaminating, it's contaminating nature or, or whatever they said, or contaminating the waterways. But yeah, that, that is disgusting. Like people, if you got a disposable mask, throw it in the garbage can. Don't just throw it on the ground or or in the waterway because that's contaminating the water. I thought that was a um, I thought that was a lobster um claw. Did they say somebody done chopped off the lobster's claw or, or lost it in a fight or something? The kids, they're still out. You can still hear the screaming and yelling. 
They must be playing football or something. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. Because my friends, when they play football in the neighborhood up there, they get loud just like that too. You know, they be like, let's go, let's go, whenever they make a touchdown or a score. Or or something unexpected will happen. That is, that is celebration worthy. Oh yeah, guys, it's getting cold. Like I said, I don't, I don't know about you guys, but I'm really not a big fan of winter. I, I, I actually hate the winter because it's cold. So I'll be happy when spring gets here. Can you guys hear that? There's a frog. <clears throat> oh, dang it, they stopped. If you guys didn't hear it, those those were chorus frog those were chorus frogs in the background. You'll you'll typically hear these kind of frogs. I think I think um that, because of, the reason the reason how I learned that they were called chorus frogs is because because I watch a lot of um snake hunting videos on YouTube and um shout out to um NFK Herping. He's the reason that, he's the reason that I found out what type of frogs th those are. They're called chorus frogs. Because you know, it's like they're singing, they're making a chorus song or whatever, but yeah, shout shout out to him. If for for all you snake for all you snake fans like me, go watch his go watch his videos of him, you know, f flipping tin and all that for snakes and other amphibians and reptiles and um also support him. Go subscribe to his channel. And yeah. And, and if you guys don't mind, the, the people I watch, I will give y'all a free shout out because I'm that person. Now now I don't give everybody free shout outs. But I don't charge them either for shout outs. Like like most YouTubers do. They'll charge you for a shout out or something some shit like that. Not saying that it not saying it's a problem because hey, it's their channel, they do whatever they want to do. I'm just saying I don't I'm not that kind of person to do that. Now I said I could be a nice person but I also got a bad side and you don't wanna see my bad side, trust me. I've new I've nearly killed someone. And I almost went to jail, and believe it or not, it almost it almost became a I almost caught a murder charge because from one of my bullies. I don't think I ever told y'all this because one of my bullies were messing with me, and I I almost killed him. Let's just say that. So yeah, that's my bad side that you don't want to see. So that's that's, it. that's why that's why I try to I try to that's why I try you know to avoid most of the negativity, but. I'll talk about that in another video. Who the fuck is singing My ding a -ling? That's an old ass song. You must want ding -a -ling. you keep singing it. Let me get the hell out of here. They're right there. There's a little girl in a pink jacket singing it. I don't know if you saw him, but they were standing right there on the side of the house. On the side of the house. But yeah, guys, make sure to comment, like, subscribe, do all that, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.